In today's video, we are going to be checking out the preamp from Acorn. What's going on everyone? If you are new to the channel, my name is Zach and this is Fuzz Drones. What I like to do on this channel is just demo a bunch of heavy sounding gear, do a demo for it and then release that demo to you. So if you're into doom metal, drone, post rock, post hardcore, any styles of music like that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do post weekly videos. And if you're the type of person that likes getting some free stuff, what I'm gonna be doing this year is giving a pedal away each month. All you have to do is uh, comment on at least one video I released that month, be subscribed to my channel. At the end of the month, I'll go through that comment section and I'll pick one lucky winner to send a pedal to. So today we're going to be checking out the MIGFET 50 from Acorn. And if you haven't guessed it by now, this is a preamp pedal based off the Sovtech MIG 50. So now I actually had a MIG 50 uh, maybe six months ago. And I do have to say this thing right here definitely captures the tones that I was getting out of this amp. I was actually very surprised by this because here's the thing with preamps. I, I feel they're either really going to they're either really going to do the job super well and they're going to sound like the amp or you're going to get a preamp pedal and it just sounds like absolute dog shit. i've had preamp pedals in the past where you put a couple of pedals in front of it and the tone just basically gets squashed it's very thin sounding it, it gets that like very splatty tone which i absolutely hate with this thing right here i for the in the mix i was stacking pedals with it and it sounded excellent uh for the in the mix what i did i had a uh, vd7 big muff in front of it and i actually stacked that with a uh, sd1 a boss sd1 just to tighten everything up a little bit and it, it did a phenomenal job i was just like i said i was very impressed with how well this thing took pedals now with this, I definitely would either use a very clean styled amp or what I did personally, I ran it through either the effects loop or uh, I used the Seymour Duncan power stage. For the pedal portion that I'm gonna do in a couple minutes, I am using the Seymour Duncan power stage just because I feel it is going to be the cleanest possible signal that you could send this pedal through and i really want you to get a a true idea on what this pedal sounds like because it, it really is a fantastic uh preamp pedal acorn knocked it out of the park with this and it, it's definitely on the list of those preamp pedals that truly sound like the actual amp and let's face it right now those original mig 50s they're going for a pretty penny you used to be able to pick them up for like 300 400 bucks now that i've been seeing they've been going for anywhere from like a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks it, in my opinion it's not worth it unless you want to lug one of those around if you want to get the if you want to get that tone just seriously just grab one of these things right here and uh it, it'll do the job perfectly plus it won't break your f when you're bringing it to gigs 
All right, so like I said before, I'm gonna be using the Seymour Duncan Power Stage um, with the MIG Fat. I'm going to be micing that up with uh, a Shure SM57 going into a custom 2x12. I forget what speakers, I think Texas Heats or a Vintage 30. That seems like what the majority of the uh, cabinets have here and everything. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple sections just with how it stacks with other pedals. I'm unsure what pedal uh, pedals I'm going to be using right now just because John has a marvelous collection of pedals. We probably have, not we, John probably has close to 300, 400 pedals in here right now. So I might pick an oddball that you really don't see quite a bit um, and just toss it in there. So I'm going to stop blabbering and we're going to check it out right about now.
All right, so that is the demo on the MIG FET. Drop a comment below, let me know what you thought about this pedal. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future demos, but until the next video, my name is Zach, and this is... Mm -hmm.